Hello my dear friends, this is a painter cat. My name is Catherine. Uh, today I want to demonstrate to you my new tutorial. This is a demonstration short version. If you want to paint with me in real time, welcome on my Patreon. There you can find the tutorial, also sketch, that you can print and transfer to the good watercolor paper. Paper I just demonstrated to you. This is a canvas um, textured, nice quality watercolor paper. It's also possible to use for oil as well, if you want to. Today, I wanna paint with gouache. Also, it's possible to uh, create this painting with oil or acrylic. We need to use paints with a nice amount of coverage. This painting will look really as a mosaic because each brushstroke separate. You can check um, artist, his surname Afremov, and he well known about his beautiful art pieces that have so many bright and clear colors all together, but he had absolutely unique in my view, way of painting, te painting technique, I'd say, right? Um, he painting with a very short strokes, usually he using palette knife for small detailing, he using brushes as well, but mostly it's a short brush strokes or palette knife strokes that can contain clear colors on it. And it's very important to follow color changing in right order. What does it mean, actually? Uh, that means we have to move from color to color in special order. Uh, you can open color ring and color circle and look how colors going on it. It's usually, well, I will start from the yellow, uh, same as I did on my painting. I'm going from uh, light yellow here because I want to create soft light around lightnings. So if we following color ring, right, uh, we moving yellow to orange, then to the red, then violet, then blue and green, and then back to the yellow. So that common order that we have to follow because colors really changing beautifully if we transferring to these positions. If we jumping from yellow straight to the violet, in the middle we are risking to get kind of unpleasant mixes and brush strokes. So remember about going through the proper uh, transferring colors. You can see now, right? I picked up yellow, then look, ochre, then red, deep red, which was model lake red, then small amount of violet, ultramarine and blue. Then I have to stop because I'm not planning to use much green here, but I will do, I will do in the future. Also, uh, in a real-time tutorial, you can find commands about all my tools I'm using and uh, all about small tricky parts, uh, shine around lightning poles, for example. This is important to create as well if we really want to high detailing, very interesting looking landscape, right? And generally, we following order. I just talk to you and look. Now I wanna also use a small amount of green. If you will check color ring, you will find that green nicely transferring to the blue or all the way back to the yellow. So here you can go to the green from yellow or from the blue. It's very helpful, trust me, because here we will have some connections be between different colors mm, uh, through the green color. 
Also, interesting moment here. Usually, when we creating landscape, we going from the background, moving to the middle ground, and then working on a good detailing on a foreground. But not in this kind of paintings. Because look what we're gonna have here. Because of this mosaical brushwork, we have kind of similar detailization level everywhere, isn't it? Doesn't matter if it's a background or it's a middle ground, foreground, amount of detailing looking same everywhere. So how we gonna pick the center of composition, the center of interest for our viewers. Interesting moment, right? We have another very important thing in any painting. This is a contrast. And this kind of paintings all about contrast, balance. So on a foreground, we will create a really high contrasted details and all areas that are not that important for our view we will keep in a soft contrast. Look, our colors really transferring smoothly from one to the next. So areas looking kind of not contrasted, isn't it? Even on a foreground, even from the light to the deeper shaded areas. So here only contrasted areas we will keep for foreground and important moments. The most important here, it's a romantic couple that hugging, it's a two persons hugging each other on the umbrella and today I also want to create, want to demonstrate to you how to create half transparent dress, white dress. I believe it's maybe like um, wedding dress just a maybe, maybe evening dress, anyway, I want to create it half transparent. You can follow me on a Patreon and there you can find also references photos I'm using for this tutorial. This is a real photo of a couple on the umbrella. It's very nice actually when you have an idea about um, composition, maybe landscape, to find uh, photos, references, that will help to you to get those results that closest to your imaginations. Not all details we have, you know, very clear in our memories. So it's just very nice way when you have a support from real photos, especially for uh, human bodies, for uh, fashion of dresses you like, you know. Uh, also for shape of umbrella, sometimes it's, you know, it can look as a mushroom, not as umbrella. So check before you want to include this detail in your compositions. Check how it's really looking on a photos and after you can uh, use it in your uh, paintings with no doubts, right? So again, follow me on our Patreon and there you have references photos already. For my couple, I'm using, look, really dark colors, right? But important, there is no black yet. Black and white, it's two colors that have the most contrast between each other. So leave it for the very last steps. When you will see what areas and places need to get highest contrast, there you can open your black and go get your contrast done really well but now we don't need it we're just planning softly we're putting this adorable colors no any grayish something no unpleasant brown mixes no we're working with a rainbow imagine you're creating your composition with just a pieces of rainbow. Interesting idea, right? So you can see, even on my palette, I have no dirty um, mixes 
at all. It's just very clear, very saturated colors. I'm just mixing sometimes with a small amount of white and then I'm completing mixes process straight on a paper. Important not to mix too well colors on your palette. You don't need it because the most beautiful effect that I really adore on a firm of compositions it's those kind of tiny stripes in one um, stroke you know you can see so many colors in shades in just a one stroke that's beautiful that's so interesting to see but to create this effect you don't need to mix well for example white and yellow together on your palette to get a light yellow just put two colors together white and yellow top a little bit you know not too well so you still have some pieces of white some pieces of clear yellow and then when you go with a stroke colors mixing together straight straight on your um paper i'm trying to explain really well but here is a short version on a real-time tutorial i can explain it better and demonstrate it really slow once you get it you can use this technique in many different ways even if you creating just uh, ordinary uh, usually classical technique landscape right uh, you still can use this blending colors in one uh, brush stroke you can still use it for some interesting details I really like it really like it and uh, if you're painting with oil if you already have experience with oil, so probably you noticed that um, oil mixing easily together, much more easy than acrylic or gouache, I'd say, because of oil uh, base. So there, um, you just need to control it a little bit better those mixing and maybe even less blended on a palette and more blended on your canvas by the way this type of paper i'm using today it's a dale roni it's a canvas textured but also this type of paper have a special top cover and it's possible to paint with oil on it also so result on this paper can look very close to the canvas it's nice because i'd say i recommend this type of paper to everyone who wanna learn how to paint on a canvas but this type uh, just you know cheaper each piece much much more cheaper than a piece of canvas on a frame or canvas on a board even so you can go for more tries, you can learn better because of many attempts. And in the end, you know, painting is just a question of practice. Especially here, when we have a color ring, we can move it, uh, move our colors in those directions and the pleasant result will wait for us in the end. I told you we're gonna use black as well as soon as background done, first layer done everywhere, you covered everything with those mosaical strokes, we can add some contrasted details. So I opened black color, but I told you a frame of, a frame of uh, usually painting with oil and there you can't wait till colors will dry for the drying process you have to wait at least to like one week right usually frame of uh, completing in one day i mean in one go we're not waiting between uh, black details and colorful background so black will take neighbor colors that's for sure here i'm working with gouache so background layer color 
colorful background already dried, I have to imitate reacting with the neighbor colors on my palette. So I'm painting with black, but also with very um, tip of the brush, I'm taking mix of white and yellow from my palette and rubbing a little bit. You can check it in a center of lightning poles. See those stripes of white and yellow? This is nice looking effect. Usually it's happening with oil by itself because of uh, material, but here we have to add it. Right. Also, I um, told you about contrasting in the um, center of you, in the center of composition. Here it's a couple. And uh, to create this contrast, I will put light, lightning line around the bodies. So it's a light spot. So we have light from the left to the right falling. So imagine those light, those halo around bodies and shapes there on the arms, probably on a head, maybe on a back, also on a face of a girl. But not go, don't go with just a white. It will look too cold, but here we have really mm, shining light, warm light. Look on the yellow color around, around lightning, right? It's a yellow colored. So we have to repeat the same on the bodies. And also, straight after first layer dried, we can rub a little bit of white on top, spread it to create a effect of transparent, half transparent dress. I'd say go with not too watery color. Why not too watery? Yes, we need to create kind of thin layer, but if you will create watery consistency, it will make bottom layer more wet and instead of half transparent effect of the dress you'll get just a mix of yellow, uh, red and white there. You don't need it. And also important moment, try not to fix your self brush strokes. Go with one, check, wait, look how it's looking, right? If it's good enough, go with the next one. As soon as uh, this layer dried, you can go with another one, with another white. On acrylic process, absolutely the same, because acrylic drying kind of fast. With oil, process going very similar, because of another two there, we have to work with um, palette knives. If you like this style of compositions, my dear friends, please leave your comments. Maybe if you will be interested in it enough, uh, I will think about to create uh, these compositions close to this technique in oil on a canvas and demonstrate to you how to work with oil with a similar result. As the last step, I also creating uh, twigs and branches because it's a garden, right? Imagine it's a couple taking a walk in uh, evening time in a garden. And that's it, and that's it. I really hope you guys enjoying this kind of paintings. Please be curious about uh, Afremov style. He is unique artist. I really love his painting so much, just fall in love with it. If you have any questions, especially after real-time version, please leave your comments, I will answer all of them. I will be very happy to see your own paintings. You can follow me on Instagram, just put the hashtag PaintyCat. Also, you can find me on a Patreon uh, and on a Facebook. There you can demonstrate to me your paintings 
as well. In the end, I want to demonstrate by request how to fix area when you mix missed it and already removed the tape. That's very easy. You have to put tape back, paint area that you missed like this. Just absolutely same. You have to dry this area again and again. You have to remove tape. Kind of easy, right? And look, white frame still here. That's it. My work is done. Really hope you enjoyed it. It was a painter cat. I wish you all the best. Bye bye.